Good morning. 55 degrees outside in North Conway Village under partly sunny skies. Time to get ready for the White Mountains. This is White Mountains Today. Good morning. I'm Marty Bash, your host. Uh, looking like a nice day here in the Mount Washington Valley. You're going to want to get outside and enjoy. But before you do, let me tell you a little bit about uh, what is planned for today's show. On today's show, planning to have guests from Gorin, uh, Gorham Bike and Ski right here on uh, uh, Route 16 in North Conway, Jack Stefan. Also, we'll find out what is going on at White Mountain Community College with uh, Chuck Loin, the president of the college. And also for Watch and Win, we have one Drive Yourself Pass to the Mount Washington Auto Road, plus four trail pla uh, passes for mountain biking and cross-country skiing at Great Glen Trails. And of course, uh, be remiss, uh, today of course, uh, September 11th, 2001, remembering 20 years ago, uh, sort of the uh, terrorist attack here on the United States. And just want to let you know that North Conway and Jackson will both hold ceremonies marking the 20th anniversary of those attacks today. Jackson's America Supports You Freedom Walk will be held uh, starting at the Jackson Covered Bridge. That begins at 8.15, about 45 minutes from now. And then in about an hour at 8.30 right here in North Conway, uh, the ceremonies begin in School Park. Let's now take a look at the weather and a nice day to get outside and play. Uh, basically, the nice weather continues this weekend. This is because of high pressure uh, sliding across the area. You can expect plenty of sun and seasonable temperatures uh, today and maybe even tomorrow with uh, tomorrow looking like we might get uh, near 80, but I'll tell you more about that soon. Uh, low pressure in Canada will drag a cold front through northern New England on Sunday. And another weak wave will track along the front Sunday night, bringing a chance of rain and thunderstorms to some areas. Uh, some cool high pressure builds in behind the front for Monday and Tuesday with dry weather and some pleasant temps. Then the next frontal system arrives midweek and with it, another chance of rain. As we take a look now at the seven day forecast, uh, we're looking at uh, sunny with a high in the low 70s today. Calm winds uh, becoming west around 5 miles per hour in the afternoon. Tonight, looking for a clear skies with a low around 55, some calm winds as well. Tomorrow, Sunday, there's a slight chance of showers between 11 and 2, then a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after 2. Generally speaking, we're looking at uh, mostly sunny skies, and again, temperatures high uh, 70s, maybe hitting 90, we shall see. The chance of precipitation is about 20%. Sunday night, a 30% chance of showers after uh, 3 in the morning. Partly cloudy, low around 55. Then Monday, we're looking at a 30% chance of showers before 7, mostly sunny with a high near 72. Monday night is looking mostly clear with a low around 50. On Tuesday, look for a sunny day with a high near 72. Then Tuesday night, uh, some 50% chance of showers and a 50% chance of showers on Wednesday with a high near 77. Now let's uh, take a look up at uh, the higher summits forecast. Uh, this is for uh, places above 4,000 feet. This comes to us from the Mount Washington Observatory where uh, they are projecting a high today of around 43 degrees, mostly in the clouds under mostly cloudy skies with a chance of rain showers, mainly early. Uh, wind out of the northwest at 25 to 40 miles per hour, but uh, could increase up to 40 to 55 miles per hour with maybe some gusts above 70. Uh, right now on the rock pile, 35 degrees at the summit, and the wind speed is 58 miles per hour, the uh, fastest gust over the past 10 minutes. Uh, was 62 miles per hour and uh, down in uh, Pinkham Notch, 49 degrees. So 49 at Pinkham Notch and 35 up on the summit. And we will be checking in with the Mount Washington Observatory a little bit later on in the show via Zoom. Well, yes, of course, September, and it is the return of Mud Bowl. Yes, it is back. The Mount Washington Valley Mud Bowl, a weekend of messy football fun featuring teams from across New England. Uh, it's return to North Conway, always one of the highlights of Mud Bowl weekend. And back after a one year layoff is the 38th Tournament of Mud Parade. And that will be held today at 1030 in North Conway Village. This year's theme is 45 years in the mud. And you can find out some more information at northconwaycommunitycenter.com. Well, 
Up in the Glen, and I'm talking about the Great Glen this weekend, the Mount Washington Auto Road, will host the Muster in the Mountains. It's a weekend of colonial reenactment. This event features a colonial encampment of reenactors representing the French and Indian War, Revolutionary War, and Mountain Man periods from 1750 through 1840. This gathering will take place in the fields at the base of the Mount Washington Auto Road in beautiful Pinkham Notch. Participants demonstrate the use of appropriate tools, clothing, and firearms from their respective time periods. This event is free and open to the general public with the hope that the education they receive may spur them on to consider becoming a future participant. Activities will include 1,800 firearms, cannon display and competition, woods walk competition, tomahawk and knife throwing, cooking, weaving, basket making, quill work, candle dipping, gunsmithing, coppersmithing, blacksmithing, archery, wood carving, century games, and more. Go to mountwashington.com, that's mt-washington.com for more information. Well, yes, we're doing it again, uh, watch and win. And once again, we take qualifiers throughout the show and then we choose a winner at uh, the end of the show, which is around uh, 9.30. What do we have? We have a one drive yourself pass to the Mount Washington Auto Road, plus four trail passes for mountain biking or cross country skiing at Great Glen Trails. And just a reminder, we also have a drawing for a Boggs Boot $100 gift card. You can go to whitemounds.tv and click on win prizes to enter. All right, so let's uh, let's do this. Watching in. Matthew, of course, the man behind the scenes, trusted digitator, coming up with these questions, 356-6619. All right, blank is a form of skiing where skiers rely on their own locomotion to move across snow-covered terrain rather than using ski lifts or other forms of assistance. What kind of skiing is that? 356-6619. I know it's fun. But what are we looking for? 356-6619, and uh, it's kind of appropriate with the prize, which includes four trail passes to Great Glen Trails. 356-6619, give us a buzz. What kind is a form of skiing where skiers rely on their own locomotion to move across snow-covered terrain rather than using ski lifts or other forms of assistance? 356-6619, any takers going once? Any takers going twice? Any takers going to A? <laughs> we got them good. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess maybe we're uh, sleeping in this morning. So uh, you want to go to a break, Matthew? Yeah, I think I'll leave the question up for probably like uh, 30 seconds or so, and we'll go to break. All right. Fair enough. So let's see. Let's see. How about uh, does the name, uh, let's see, uh, Carl Swenson uh, ring a bell to anybody? Let's see, how about uh, Suweens? These are the types of skiing. What sort of skiing? 356 6619. Oh, okay. I, hear the, I hear the phone. You hear the phone. Maybe it's the right phone. Good morning. Good morning. What's your answer, please? Is it backcountry skiing? It is, well, you know something? Um, you know, that's kind of, okay, we're going with the wrong. I'm sorry, that was kind of close. 356 I couldn't, I couldn't pick up on where you were going with that, six, so I made the dip. All right. Well, you all, well it's kind of late. <laughs> oh, well, 356-6619. I guess, you know, backcountry skiing is actually kind of a sort of correct answer. So if you want to call that. Um, but uh, we were looking for another. Uh, okay, yes, no. All right. Well, well, you uh, know, we'll, head to, we'll head to break now, and we'll, uh, we'll do this one next segment. And uh, hopefully the uh, cobwebs get rubbed out. And, uh, yeah, we'll do that. All right. White Mountains Today is brought to you by the Eastern Slope Inn. Enjoy spacious suites and full kitchens in the heart of North Conway Village. And by Adatash Mountain Village. Reconnect with family and nature at our White Mountain New Hampshire Resort. Plan a getaway to the heart of North Conway Village at the Eastern Slope Inn Resort. This historic inn offers sparkling, clean, spacious suites with full kitchens and modern amenities. 
including clay tennis courts with private lessons, fire pits, indoor swimming pool, and hot tub. Walk to village shops, restaurants, and outdoor activities. Book your North Conway escape. Go to ESI.vacations. Introducing Outside Plus, your home for exploration. From adventure to practice, training plans to race day events, from the backyard to the backcountry, workouts, meal plans, curated content, all from the brands you know and trust. Outside Plus, where knowledge meets inspiration. Register now for the number one community event in the Mount Washington Valley, the 24th annual Jen's Friends Climb Against Cancer on Saturday, September 18th. Sign up solo or form a team, participate virtually from anywhere, or join us at Cranmore Mountain Resort for amazing views, a lunch, live entertainment, a silent auction, and more. 100% of pledges raised benefits patients and their families battling cancer here in the Mount Washington Valley. Register now at jensfriends.org. Icy hot. Ice works fast. Heat makes it last. Feel the power of contrast therapy so you can rise from pain. Jason, did you know Geico could save you hundreds on car insurance and a whole lot more? Cool. So what are you waiting for? Michaela Maroney to get your frisbee off the roof? I'll get it. Thank you, Michaela. Dude, get it. I'm not getting it. You get it. You threw it. It's your frisbee. Geico. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. On today's program, we are playing Watch and Win. It's fun, it's interactive, it's all of those things, and you, that's right, you can win great prizes, but there are rules we have to follow. One win per household per 30 days, please. No hogging prizes. When we qualify people for prize drawings, you can qualify once per drawing per household unless otherwise specified. You cannot win more than one prize from the same prize sponsor in a year. For example, if you win a gift certificate to a restaurant Restaurant, you can't win another one from that same restaurant for the next 12 months. You gotta learn to spread the love, man. To win, your answer must match our answer. We try our best, though sometimes we make mistakes. The show director, or the supreme chancellor, as I like to call them, is the judge, and their rule is final. Prizes are non-exchangeable or redeemable for cash, and White Mountains TV is not liable for unredeemable prizes. That is all of them. Now get ready to play, because our next Watch and Win contest showdown whatever is right around the corner and you're not going to want to miss it stay tuned right here on white mountains today the way it was is the way it is at zeb's general store the ultimate new england experience feel what it was like to be a kid back when candy counters stretched 70 feet long and were filled with chocolate and fudge penny candy by the pound and old-time favorites you haven't seen in years Explore two floors of delicious and unique specialty foods, toys, clothing, bath and body, and more. Unique, quality products from cottage-based companies right here in New England. Zeb's General Store is in the center of the community in more ways than one, reinvesting in village beautification and supporting community nonprofits. When you shop at Zeb's, you are a direct link in the vitality of the northern New Hampshire economy and the sustainability of locally grown businesses. Visit the best of today and yesteryear at Zeb's General Store, Main Street, North Conway Village, online at zebs.com. And welcome back. Let's take a live look now uh, outside with the WhiteMountains.tv webcam where the temperature in North Conway Village right now is a very brisk 55 degrees, but it certainly is welcome as fall soon will make its way here to the Mount Washington Valley. And the White Mountains TV North Conway Village live cam is sponsored by Zeb's General Store, an old-fashioned country store unlike anything else in New England. Right here on Main Street in North Conway Village, you can shop online and say hi to Zeb's at zebs.com. Yeah. 
Well, a few things going on here in the North Conway area, so let's tell you about it right now, including this weekly nutrition class. Uh, you can ready to make a transition in your approach to nutrition. Join Discover Health Functional Medicine Center for a new eight-week nutrition transition class. Topics will include options such as the rainbow concept, paleo ancestral eating, intermittent fasting, and several variations of a ketogenic approach. This small group coaching class will help you clarify your goals and identify actions that will lead you to your success. You'll have the opportunity to experiment and find an approach that works best for you. Okay. Oh, it starts what? Sorry, I was just saying oh, okay. there was a yeah, mishap in the copy. It does start the 14th September, so this week. Okay, it starts September 14th. There you go. Good to know. All right, yes, music. We all love music. Get outside and, uh, you know, enjoy some concerts. And uh, the 2021 Moat Mountain Smokehouse Sunset Concert Series at Believe in Books Literacy Foundation Theater in the Wood concludes on Friday, September 17th, with No Shoes Nation Band. The five accomplished musicians of the No Shoes uh, Nation Band pay tribute to Kenny Chesney's incredible catalog of Billboard charting hit songs from his top-selling albums. The No Shoes Nation Band recreates a Kenny Chesney show playing the music you know and love. And uh, basically, uh, you can get some more information and tickets at believeinbooks.org. And also uh, want to let you know that uh, today... Yes, because of 9-11 uh, you know, observances, uh, North Conway and Jackson will both hold ceremonies marking the 20th anniversary of the, 20, of the uh, terrorist attacks. And uh, Jackson's America Supports You Freedom Walk will be held at the Jackson Covered Bridge at 8.15. That's about a half hour from now. And North Conway ceremonies begin in Schuler Park at 8.30. Uh, this morning. So you're going to have that in North Conway, Shula Park, and then uh, after uh, that, um, uh, after those ceremonies, then they're going to have the, uh, the Mud Bowl Parade. So lots going on here in the village today. All right, we are going to get now to a uh, watch and win qualifier, which uh, the prizes are a one drive yourself pass to the Mount Washington Auto Road, plus four trail passes for mountain biking or cross country skiing at Great Glen Trails. And also a reminder, we also have a drawing for the Boggs Boots $100 gift card coming up, and you can do that by going to whitemounds.tv and clicking on Win Prizes to Enter. All right, 356-6619, here is the question. Again, we're playing for that uh, auto road pass and four tickets to Raceland Trail. I know a lot of people are getting ready for winter, so what is a form of skiing where skiers rely on their own locomotion to move across snow-covered terrain rather than using ski lifts or other forms of assistance. 356-6619. Good morning. What's your answer, please? Cross-country skiing. Cross-country skiing is correct. We, uh, we also would have uh, accepted uh, backcountry skiing. And who are you, please? Marianne. And where are you calling us from, Marianne? Glenn. Okay, well, you hang on, Marianne, calling from Glenn. I'll get some more information from you. And you're now uh, entered again uh, into the uh, drawing today for the uh, pass to Mount Washington Auto Road and four trail passes for mountain biking or cross-country skiing at Great Bend Trails. We'll be back after this. Many who visit the White Mountains dream of someday making it their everyday home. Owners of North Conway Midas, Kelly and Ron Monroe, fell in love with the Mount Washington Valley and its community. They made the full-time leap, and the community has embraced them back. 
actually been coming up here for a long time. Um, this was our weekend getaway. So we were coming up vacations and we decided that we wanted to purchase a business here. We wanted to live here. After a few years, we decided, yep, this is where we want to be. We love the valley. It's probably the most beautiful place on the earth as far as I'm concerned. We moved in 2014. We took over the business in 2015 and it's been great ever since. Um, this has always really felt like it's been our home. Um, and this is where we really wanted to plan our roots. We wanted to be here. We wanted to live here permanently. Um, the, the valley does have so much to offer. We loved living up here, you know, or coming up here to visit. And we hated going home. And the first weekend that we were here and didn't have to go home was just the most wonderful feeling. We drove up to uh, Tuckerman's Ravine, looked out and said, yep, we're here, we don't have to go home anymore, this is our home. And it was just this, this greatest relief and pleasure to be here. It was just awesome. It's a corporate chain, but we're locally owned. Um, it's, it's me and my husband that own this business. We live here, obviously, um, and we pretty much, we do everything. We do everything from oil changes, tune-ups, tires, brakes, alignments, you name it, we pretty much do it. We know what it was like to be a visitor up here and need help. And we now know what it's like to be a resident and be able to get the help. And when tourists come in and, and they're kind of nervous and you know their vacation's on the line and they don't know what to do, we try to do everything possible to keep their vacation from being interrupted. But we also know that it's the locals that are here all the time and the, they're, they're our bread and butter and we want to make sure that they're comfortable and, 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 and uh, like coming to us. Community is huge. Uh, being involved with the community, being friendly, providing a comfortable atmosphere, those things are huge. Being, being trustworthy, that's the other thing. We, we take people out, we show them on their vehicles what's wrong. You know, we really try to educate people on their cars. You got, you got to know your clientele, you got to know your surroundings, you got to know the people that you're going to be serving and find out what they want, and what they're missing and, and maybe what you can improve on in their experiences coming into your place. And if you do that, you'll be a great success as, as we are. We feel that we've built a great business that people trust and, and when they come here, they know that they're gonna get a fair deal. I want people to understand that when they come up here as tourists, they're up here as visitors and we welcome them and we want them to be here. But we also want them to respect the valley, the people that work here and the people that are serving them. And if you do that, you're gonna have a great experience and we're gonna love having you here. So just remember, it's like visiting somebody else's house. You go in knowing that you're a visitor and you have to show it respect. The greatest part of this valley is the people. The people make the valley. The valley's beautiful, the surroundings are gorgeous, the mountains are majestic, but without the people it just wouldn't be the valley. The, the people are so kind and so helpful and, and they really care about each other. Just pretty much that's really what it is for me. Just this is heaven for me. The Subaru Forester. Dog tested, dog approved. Lost River Gorge in Boulder Caves is one of New Hampshire's greatest natural wonders and an unforgettable adventure.
Discover your adventure at LostRiverGorge.com. Phase me. Unlike Zyrtec, Allegra won't make me drowsy. Allegra starts working two times faster than Claritin. So trees, you won't take me down. When allergies attack, take Allegra. Before your symptoms take over you. Live your greatness. Ready for fun? Watch Explore the White Mountains, where we count down the best in adventure, dining, shopping, lodging, and mountain living. Plan your day with local weather, outdoor conditions, expert tips, resort news, events, and inside looks at the best experiences. Explore the White Mountains, airing daily here on White Mountains TV and online at whitemountains.tv. The story of White Mountain Oil and Propane began in 1941. Since then, it's been neighbor helping neighbor for generations of customers. When you call from Chikora, they won't ask how to spell it. They'll say, we have someone there now. His name is Bob. They have the largest storage facility north of Concord. So you won't hear, see you next week. You'll hear, be right over. They know this valley and they know what you need to enjoy it in year-round comfort. White Mountain Oil and Propane, always there for you. Good morning, Saturday morning and uh, approaching 8 o'clock. Let's now take a look around the White Mountains, which is presented by White Mountain Oil and Propane, serving this community for three generations. White Mountain Oil and Propane, always there for you. Uh, Conway, I'm sure, uh, as you know, uh, Mount Washington is behind those clouds. Uh, right now in uh, Conway, we're looking at 55 degrees, and it uh, looks like we're going to hit uh, the 70s perhaps a little bit later on in the day. Also, in case you're wondering, up on the summit of Mount Washington, there you go. It's sort of like you could see, uh, see your hand, you know, with the end of your arm. Right now, 35 degrees on top of the rock pile with a wind speed of 54 miles per hour. And the uh, gust, uh, well, the highest wind gust in the past 10 minutes, 59 degrees. Wind chill up there is 19. Yeah. All right, let's now take a look at the five-day forecast. And uh, we are looking at a nice day today with uh, temperatures in the uh, low 70s. Uh, tonight is going to be clear with a low of around 55. Tomorrow, uh, some slight chance of showers like uh, late morning and then maybe slight chance again uh, in the uh, thunderstorms in the early afternoon, but uh, mostly sunny with a high near 78. Uh, then on Monday, mostly sunny, high near 72. Tuesday, well, sort of rinse and repeat, uh, sunny with a high near 72, but then, uh, then uh, another system is coming in. And then on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday, we're looking at a 50-50 shot of some rain with Wednesday a high of around 77 degrees. So plan accordingly, get outside, and have some fun. Well, we'd like to tell you about a uh, fundraiser coming up. This is a popular fundraiser here in the Mount Washington Valley, and I'm talking about the 2021 Climb Against Cancer. On Saturday, September 18th, Jen's Friends Cancer Foundation will continue their annual tradition of hosting the Climb Against Cancer at Cranmore Mountain Resort. All of the money raised from this event will go directly to assist local cancer patients with their everyday needs so they can focus on recovery. This year, the event will be both virtual and physical. You can climb, walk, bike, run, crawl, or even dance anytime and anywhere from now until the 18th. And on the 18th, join them in person for the classic climb and traditional activities, including live music, live auction, a lunch, and then awards ceremony. You can go to jensfriends.org. And also just want to uh, remind you that there are some 9-11 observances today uh, in North Conway and in Jackson. Jackson's uh, America Supports You Freedom Walk will be held from the uh, Jackson Covered Bridge. Uh, that starts at 9-15. They'll be walking to the village. And then here in North Conway, ceremonies begin in Schuler Park at 8.30 this morning. Well, coming up. Uh, Gorham Bike and Ski, Jack Steffen, he's in the house. Also, Watch and Win will be doing that again. We're playing for a pass to the Mount Washington Auto Road 
and four passes for mountain biking or cross-country skiing at Great Glen Trails. And we will also check in with the uh, Mount Washington Observatory for their observatory report. But now we uh, want to take a look at the feature video of the day, which is an inside look at some of the area's best destinations. Today, Mystery New Hampshire, a fun escape room experience for the whole family. Mystery New Hampshire is an escape room. And what an escape room is, is a themed room where you're going in, you're looking for clues, you're looking for puzzles, solving riddles, and you are opening locks, all to achieve the goal of escaping the room in 60 minutes. Rooms are a great activity for both rainy days and sunny days. So when it's raining, you want something to do inside, it's perfect to go in and spend some time with your family. But even after a day on the lake or the river, coming in off the pool, it's a great way to kind of you know, finish up the night. And uh, you know, you can do it before dinner, after dinner or something, but it, wonder it makes wonderful uh, conversation for those meals afterwards, the experience that you're sharing with your friends and family. Teamwork is key, communication is key. The escape rooms are immersive. They are bring you into a kind of out, in order, out of an ordinary setting. Um, and they use things in a different way. I had someone call me and said, I had a great time, uh, you know, having fun in your escape room. I just wish that light worked. And I had to answer, I said, well, the light did work. It just worked in a different way. It didn't work where you thought it would. It worked somewhere else in the room by putting it in, uh, in a specific spot. So it acted as a trigger to trigger something else in the room. And she's like, oh, I didn't think of it that way. And I'm like, well, there you go. That's what's the kind of thinking outside the box in escape rooms. So why come and play with us at Mystery New Hampshire? You know, I, it, it's all about fun. I, I can't stress it enough, it's all about fun. And whether you're an enthusiast and you've played 100 rooms, it's always something new here for you guys to try and to have fun. But also, it's a great way to bring those newbies in, the ones who've never played escape rooms before. Bring them in and show them why you love to play escape rooms. Now, for you newbies who don't know what you're really getting yourselves in for, just go with an open mind um, and just go to spend time with your family and friends in a completely new environment. Everybody gets to participate. Everybody gets to contribute. So whether you're a new player or an experienced player, come on down to Mystery New Hampshire. Try your hand at an escape room. I'm gonna go with, you're gonna love it after you play.
For over three decades, Joseph's Spaghetti Shed has been serving delicious Italian meals with their famous homemade sauces, meatballs, and fresh breads. Enjoy all your Italian favorites, plus delicious salads and Joseph's incredible 10-inch pizzas. Some say the best in the valley. Joseph's is casual, affordable, and perfect for tired families after a day of white mountain fun. Call ahead for takeout or grab a frozen meal for later. Joseph's Spaghetti Shed, Route 302 in Glen. Not an influencer. She's more of a groundbreaker. Just look at the way she's reshaping and reimagining her four acre slice of heaven. It's not hard to tell she's the real deal. Renee runs with us on a John Deere 1 Series tractor because out here you can't fake a job well done. Nothing runs like a deer. Get a 1 Series tractor starting at $99 per month. Settlers Green is the local destination for tax-free shopping, outdoor dining, and endless activities in North Conway. Shop brands that families love, like Crocs and Under Armour, alongside the biggest names in fashion, including Michael Kors and Polo Ralph Lauren. Curb your appetite at locally owned eateries, serving up distinct dishes from brick oven pizza to fresh seafood. Share a memorable moment unique to Settlers Green at the Soaking Pot Infusion Spa or Ryan's Family Arcade. Settlers Green is open daily at 10 a.m. Start planning your trip today at settlersgreen.com. North Conway Midas saves vacations and gets locals back on the road. Trust Midas for all your auto care needs, including brakes, oil changes, tires, and now alignments. Buying a used car? Before you spend the money, bring it to Midas for a free inspection. Local owners Ron and Kelly Monroe believe in quality work, treating customers with honesty, and giving back to the community. Trust North Conway Midas, White Mountain Highway across from the Red Jacket Hotel. Lost River Gorge in Boulder Caves is one of New Hampshire's greatest natural wonders and an unforgettable adventure. Discover your adventure at LostRiverGorge.com. Forester. Dog tested, dog approved. Weather Vane Theater brings Broadway to the North Country, performing award winning musicals and plays in an alternating repertory schedule. Staged in a charming and historic venue, the Weather Vane's fall season runs now through October 10th, featuring Pippin, Always Patsy Klein, She Loves Me, and The Mountaintop. See a different show almost every night. Enjoy Broadway in the North Country. For ticket information, go online to weathervanenh.org. Well, welcome back. Saturday morning as fall approaches, the uh, daylight becomes a little bit less, but people are getting out, riding their bicycles. Bicycles are booming here in the Mount Washington Valley and all across the country as people kind of figure out, hey, it's fun, yes. right? And with us, speaking of fun, Jack Stefan here from Gorham Bike and Ski. Fun, efficiency, it's you. It's you. So let's. Uh, well, first of all, good morning. Welcome. Morning, Marty. And uh, let's let's. Safety is is never is never old. And and let's talk about you know people put on their bike helmets. Right. And and there's some changes in, in in helmet technology. So so what's that all about? And how how are these new helmets sort of different from from the bike helmets we're we're all been wearing for a few years? Well, for years and years, it's always been the same thing where you had a hard shell that stops any abrasions, and then you have that foam core, kind of a crushed zone, and uh, if you fall and deform that, oftentimes they're saying, well, it's time for a new helmet. Mm -hmm. uh, that foam is really hard. I mean, if you're deforming that, that's a major hit, and it's a sudden impact. And we've found an awful lot of 
um, things out about concussions over the last few years, especially like with the NFL. So um, they've come up with some new things to help protect our brain. As Bon Traeger likes to say, you only have one brain. Let's protect yeah. it. So um, MIPS is something that's been around for a few years now. And I brought a, an example of that, a helmet mm -hmm. with that. And then, as I said, Bon Traeger has a new take on that. And basically, uh, it's called wave cell. Mm -hmm. Basically, both of these are like a third level of protection in the helmet. So they've got the hard shell, they've got the foam, and then with the wave cell, they've got an interior that almost looks like a series of waves. Mm -hmm. And yeah. really, what what's... Uh, it looks like a mesh, kind of. Yeah, and the idea is any way you fall, if you hit your head, it kind of compresses and then bounces back. Think of it as a shock absorber for your brain. So it slows that sudden impact that you oftentimes had when you just hit that foam. Mm -hmm. um, another, and that's uh, Bon Traeger's uh, um, number one feature to help mm -hmm. protect you. Like I said, third level of protection. There's also MIPS that have been around for some time. And the MIPS is really interesting. It essentially does the same thing. Yeah, that looks like a cargo net kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, you right? almost have a shell within the shell. Mm -hmm. And that's loosely with some pins uh, attached to the inside of the helmet. And the idea there is if you fall, that slides or rotates ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. Again, slowing that sudden impact to your head so the brain doesn't go sloshing up against the inside of your skull mm -hmm. and creating a concussion. Um, so this is an interesting helmet because this particular one from Smith has four levels of protection. It also has in the side something they call choroid. And again, it's another little crush zone. Mm -hmm. uh, not too different, a little, little stiffer than the wave cell. Um, a couple of years ago, they they had a couple of helmets where they put that all across the top. Right. People found that although it vented really well, uh, you didn't get the flow through ventilation, so it was a little hot during the summer. Uh, so now Smith has taken to just putting it on the side so you still have that comfortable flow through mm -hmm. you know, ventilation, uh, but you still have that protection on the side. So that really has for the top, the foam, uh, the MIPS and and the side core and, and what are these sort of retail for? Uh, they'll go any uh, MIPS can start somewhere around sixty dollars mm -hmm. and go all the way to a hundred and sixty dollars. Uh, there are some that are a little bit more, a mm -hmm. little less. Interestingly enough, um, you know our Gorham Bike and Ski Shop is relatively new in the valley. Um, one of the things that kind of warmed my heart and I was happy to see is. When we walked in and we were showing the products that we were going to carry, all of our helmets have either MIPS or the Wave Cell. So you can get a less expensive helmet, you know, maybe a $40 range, uh, $35 range, but it's not going to have that MIPS. And I think it's, you know, we really value the health of our, of our clients mm -hmm. or our customers. And having the MIPS is really important to us. And, and generally speaking, how often should you get a new helmet? Well, they talk about every five years or so. Um, you know, I've gone beyond five years myself, I will admit, too. Um, they, they claim when you crash, uh, you should probably yeah, think that, about yeah, replacing it. Yes. Um, you know, I think it's really important to really inspect your helmet. You know, if you see any cracking or oh, yeah, anything like that, you know, it's time. And they, they get a little funky after a while. Yeah, yeah that's true too. You know, it's, it's easy enough to wash them and, and put them out in the sun to dry, but uh, I, I would say on an average every five years you should consider getting a new one. Okay, so now people are uh, getting out, the days are getting a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. uh, people uh, still want to put in their miles before and after work. We're about to have foliage and people are going to be, oh, look at the pretty leaves. Oh, uh -oh was that a bump? Um, <laughs> so I see you brought some, some lights. Uh, what do you have and why do we need them? Well, um, I'm a roadie myself. Yep. Uh, it's probably not quite as important for mountain biking 
seen your off, uh, considering you're off the road. Mm -hmm. uh, but for uh, any of us that are riding on the road, it's really important to be seen. You know, we've talked in the past about bright clothing, bright helmets. Mm -hmm. um, you know, something that you know, uh, someone that's driving is going to notice you as a bicyclist. Uh, other thing that that could be important is uh, bright socks. Uh, you know, having definitive blocks of color on mm -hmm. your jersey that helps an awful lot. Um, Bontrager has had a uh, um, an in-depth look at what makes people noticeable as a bicyclist. And uh, one of the things that they came out with is a new line of lights. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a big fan of these. Um, most of the lights nowadays are USB rechargeable, so they're really easy to use. These happen to be really lightweight. By manipulating the reflective area, area of these, they've gone with a little less bright light, but they've been able to concentrate that light so you can see it a mile away. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it's just a little bit more focused. Um, Night Rider has some really interesting lights, and they just make them brighter. Mm -hmm. You know, um, this is 500 luminum, lunums, lumens in the <laughs> headlight. Easy for me to say. Yeah, so one of those words better written. <laughs> yeah, in the headlight. Um, so I think uh, between the Bontrager and the Knight Rider, we've got a really great selection. I think it's important to have both front and rear lights. Mm -hmm. I always talk about how when I go up north-south road from the from uh, um, Artist Falls up, there's mm -hmm. that incline, so I'm not going quite as fast. If I have that headlight going, that flashing headlight, I notice traffic that's, that's approaching me, they move over a little bit, giving the people that are passing me a little bit more room. Mm -hmm. And that's just a function of being recognized as a bicyclist. Yeah. So I think that front flashing daylight light is important. And of course, the rear light that goes without saying, that's important. Uh, one of the things that uh, Bontrager figured out in their studies is not only is it important to have like a flashing light rather than a solid light, but they also put in like a strobe in between. So it really breaks things up. It's not monotonous. It's mm -hmm. flash, flash, strobe, flash, flash, strobe. And that happens to be super important and most of these lights come with a number of different features that you can you know identify uh, do I want a solid one at night or during the daylight uh, do I want that strobe mm -hmm. effect right. well Jack uh, Jack Stefan Gorham bike and ski thank you very much for stopping by and just to remind people where the shop is located please well we're basically across this, well, right next to the cigar place uh, and right across the street from the old uh, 99. There you go. All right. Well, Jack, thank you very much. So safety, lights, helmet, hit the road, hit the trails. We'll be back. Welcome to Woodstock Inn Brewery, an 11-time Best of New Hampshire winner. It's no wonder so many people come to play and plan to stay. Enjoy the cozy yet adventurous menu of our top-rated restaurant set inside an authentic 1890s train station, serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner with indoor and seasonal outdoor dining options, a garden patio, the dam bar made from real beaver felt logs, live music, entertainment, and more. Brewery tours are offered daily. Sample our classics like Pig's Ear Brown Ale, 4,000 Footer IPA, and Red Rack Ale. Or try our newest beers like Moody Brew or Mosaic Papaya Pale Ale, most of which are available for purchase in our gift shop or on tap. With 40 unique rooms and suites and a location central to many of the area's favorite family-friendly attractions, the Woodstock Inn Brewery is the perfect base camp for weddings, events, and your family's next White Mountains adventure. Visit WoodstockInnH.com. Woodstock Inn Brewery, powered by New Hampshire. When your passion has a path, 
you just have to follow it. See where one of our 50 academic programs can take you at White Mountains Community College. Enroll now at wmcc.edu. essentials really grit determination and of course some wide-eyed wonder end your day in the white mountains at the shovel handle pub in jackson the shovel handle serves upscale american pub food in the incredible atmosphere of a restored 1842 post and bean barn the food is great appetizers like loaded nachos entrees like cedar plank roasted salmon maine blueberry and maple barbecue ribs and bourbon street marinated sirloin tips plus salad sandwiches pasta and more it's all served by a friendly and accommodating staff dine with views of black mountain or relax at the bar with friends as live music plays in the background. The Shovel Handle Pub is one of New England's premier wedding venues. Located on site, Whitney's Inn offers overnight accommodations featuring 27 guest rooms, suites and cottages, an outdoor heated pool and stock trout pond. Alpine skiing and cross-country skiing are just outside the door with hiking, golf, waterfalls and summer attractions minutes away. Whitney's Inn and the Shovel Handle Pub, Jackson, New Hampshire. Welcome to the Mount Washington Valley, where dining at great independently owned restaurants is part of the attraction. Look for the Valley Originals flag whenever you dine out. It means that restaurant is one of a kind, owner operated, and has a history of providing great hospitality. Valley Originals are the place to go for flavor and variety. Hungry? Here are some of our favorites. Breakfast is served at Priscilla's. This Belgian waffle is made from Priscilla's special recipe, topped with ripe, fresh sliced strawberries and 100% real whipped cream. Located in North Conway Village. Feast your eyes on Cafe Noche's signature chicken Monterey dish, made with sautéed chicken and vegetables folded in a tortilla with thyme, garlic, and honey topped with queso sauce. Or try a combination beef, chicken, vegetable fajita, made with a medley of fresh vegetables served on a sizzling hot plate. Head to Deacon Street in North Conway Village for this thick cut of tender pork, char-grilled and finished with a sweet bourbon glaze, paired with a Templeton rye, or fresh salmon blackened in a cast iron skillet, paired with a French martini. For dessert, a chocolate bag paired with a Maker's Mark Manhattan. Full menu at DeaconST.com. Stop by almost their sports tavern and restaurant in Albany for their famous chicken wings, barbecue steak tips, or the Grand Slam Burger, a half pound of Angus beef loaded with toppings and a side of thin cut homemade onion rings. Wash it down with a Tuckerman Pale Ale brewed just up the road. To find directions to these and over 20 other Valley Original restaurants, visit thevalleyoriginals.com. Remember, when you see this flag, it means you found one of the Valley's signature dining experiences.
coming up on 8.30 Saturday morning. Let's take a look now at the weather right now in uh, North Conway. It is 60 degrees and looking like it's going to be a nice day today. Uh, Sunday with a high near 72. Tonight we're looking at a low around 55. Uh, tomorrow mostly sunny, but there are a, there's a slight chance of some showers late morning, early afternoon. Chance of precipitation about 20, but we're looking at a high at almost 80 degrees. Monday mostly sunny, 72. Looking at the same thing on Tuesday, then another front comes in for Wednesday and with it a 50-50 shot of rain as temperatures are looking to be around 77 degrees. Yeah. Well, if you are a golfer, let me tell you about an upcoming event. It's called the Damsel Scramble and the Mount Washington Valley Promotions. They're holding the sixth annual Damsel Scramble Golf Tournament on Sunday, September 19th. It's at the Linderhof Country Club in Glen. This is for women only. It's an executive nine hole event beginning with mimosas and muffins. Men will be auctioned as caddies prior to tee offs and there are two tee times. The 11 a.m. tee uh, off will be filled first followed by the 1 p.m. tee time. Entry fee includes golf awards and a barbecue lunch. Players must register in advance as there is only space for 18 teams of five and there's more information at valleypromotions.net. Let's now uh, take a look at some of the entertainment going on at uh, area venues, yes? Yes. All right, not a problem. And while we're waiting for that to load, just also, oh, here we go, live entertainment. Uh, today at Deacon Street, Dennis and Davey up at the Red Parker Pub, Diana's Bath Salts. Shannon Door Pub is Pat Ladagno, and then the Woodstock Inn Brewery, acoustically speaking. On Sunday, Greg Walsh takes the stage at the Red Park of Pub while Jimmy Keys is playing at the Shannon Door Pub in Jackson. Then on Monday, Shannon Door Pub, Jimmy Keys again. Same thing on Tuesday, Jimmy Keys, Shannon Door Pub. Up at the Wildcat Tavern on Tuesday, Hoot Night, that's an open mic. And at the Woodstock Inn Brewery, it is karaoke. That's always a lot of fun. Looking ahead to Thursday, Wildcat Tavern, Rafa Matagrano, then the Woodstock Inn Brewery is Mitch Alden. Then next Friday, Deacon Street, Dennis and Davey, Red Park a Pub, Memphis Lightning, Shannon Door Pub, Bobby Sheehan, Riley and Dan Parkhurst take to the Shovel Handle Pub next Friday, while Al Schaffner plays at the Wildcat Tavern. White Steer is playing outside at the Woodstock Inn Brewery, and then a little bit later on, Ryan St. Odge. So there you go, some of the live entertainment. And just want to remind you today, we have a pair of 9-11 uh, observances. Uh, one is going on right now in Jackson, where they're walking from the Jackson Covered Bridge to uh, through the village. And uh, just in a few minutes, uh, ceremonies will begin here in North Conway at Schuler Park. So do plan accordingly. Uh, also uh, in North Conway later on today, uh, this morning, is the Mud Bowl Parade. So uh, going to be busy here in the village. Now let's do a watch and win qualifier. Uh, we are playing for a drive yourself pass to the Mount Washington Auto Road, plus four trail passes for mountain biking or cross country skiing at Great Glen Trails. And just a reminder, we also have a drawing for a Boggs Boots $100 gift card coming up. You can go to whitemounds.tv and click on win prizes to enter. Here we go, Matthew putting up the question, 356-6619. Let's all see it for the first time. It makes it exciting here. Okay, watch when we've jumbled up letters below. Which Carroll County town can you make out of them? Okay, boom, 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 boom. My head is spinning. If you are a, a New York Times spelling bee kind of person, kind of doing that. And if you like uh, jumble, there you go, 356 Six six one nine. Scramble those letters. You get a town here in Carroll County, and I will tell you that it is south of North Conway Village. Three five six 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 one nine. What kind of scramble? Scramble. What is that town? Three five six 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 one nine. You know, it's a barnstorming kind of place. Three five six 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 one nine. Good morning. What's your answer, please? It is Tamworth, yes. And who is this? Kirk Holmes. Kirk Holmes, okay. And where are you calling from, Kirk? Inneville. All right. If you told me Tamworth, that would have been cool. All right. You are now in the uh, the running uh, for the the passes. And uh, so I'll, I just have to get some more information from you. And when we come back, we're going to head on up to the top of Mount Washington.
Treat yourself to one of the most memorable golf experiences in the White Mountains at Hales Location Golf Course, located at the base of Whitehorse Ledge. This nine-hole course is artfully laid out for challenging play amidst jaw-dropping beauty. End with cocktails, lunch, or dinner with a view at the newly renovated White Mountain Hotel and Resort. It's the perfect destination for a golf group outing or take advantage of the Sunday afternoon nine wine and dine special. Book online at haleslocationgolf.com. Experience magic and wonder year-round at the Christmas Loft in Tricks and Treats in North Conway. Enchanted characters greet you as you step through the door of the Christmas Loft, entering a world where every day is the Christmas of your memories. Stroll through the wondrous Christmas Village, exploring scenes of White Mountain Christmas past. The journey leads you to room after room of decorated Christmas trees, Christmas lights, holiday decor, gifts, collectibles, and New England's largest selection of ornaments. Ready for the White Mountain's most magical treats? Head to the Tricks and Treats shop for gourmet Annabelle's ice cream, crazy shakes, and more. Enjoy them on the garden patio with sunset-facing mountain views. Inside the Tricks and Treats shop is where you'll discover the spooky interactive Halloween room with costumes and decorations, plus all kinds of toys, novelty items, and gifts. Our stores bring people joy. Experience the magic of the Christmas loft and Tricks and Treats in North Conway and North Woodstock, New Hampshire. Before beauty, why not both? Visibly diminish wrinkled skin in just two days. Crepe Corrector Lotion, only from Gold Bond. Champion your skin. Do not let our skylines fool you. The Old West is still alive here. It's a legacy of wild adventures. You'll find them painted on our walls and on occasion roaming our streets. Register now for the number one community event in the Mount Washington Valley, the 24th annual Jen's Friends Climb Against Cancer on Saturday, September 18th. Sign up solo or form a team, participate virtually from anywhere, or join us at Cranmore Mountain Resort for amazing views, a lunch, live entertainment, a silent auction, and more. 100% of pledges raised benefits patients and their families battling cancer here in the Mount Washington Valley. Register now at jensfriends.org. Alpine Adventures is New England's largest and most award-winning adventure destination. Located in Lincoln, New Hampshire, in the heart of the White Mountains, visit alpinezipline.com to learn more. Alpine Adventures! Yeah. Come out and play! Alpine. Enjoy sparkling, clean, spacious suites with kitchens at award-winning Atatash Mountain Village in New Hampshire's White Mountains. Perfect for families and couples, the resort features on-site amenities like a private beach on the river, clay tennis courts with private lessons, fire pits, hot tubs, indoor and outdoor swimming pools, walking trails, and horse and wagon rides. Book your getaway. Go to amv.vacations. White Mountains Today is brought to you by the Eastern Slope Inn. Enjoy spacious suites and full kitchens in the heart of North Conway Village. And by Atatash Mountain Village. Reconnect with family and nature at our White Mountain New Hampshire Resort. back now approaching 835 on a Saturday morning time to get outside and play let's now head on up to the top of Mount Washington in the Mount Washington Observatory and with us is observer Steve Durham good morning Steve and uh, how are things in your world today well Marty uh, it's a quite a little bit chilly out there this morning we're in the mid 30s a little breezy and blustery uh, how's it down there for you guys during the morning off uh, right now we're looking uh, around 60 degrees uh, some uh, partly uh, sunny skies but it looks like it's going to be a nice day we have a lot going on here in North Conway with mud balls so um, it's just going to be a nice day what's uh, what sort of forecast are we looking at uh, on top of the rock pile well up here right now on top of the rock pile right now we have a visibility of Less than 16th of mile, and that's thanks to some fog or sick, the cloud going on outside. Get our camera to load. Right now, this is a view at towards Mount Washington. Let's see if we pull it up the exact view where we're at right there. We'd be 
looking right at the summit, but right now, if we look outside our summit cam, so some raindrops are taking over. So it's hard to tell what's really going on outside. Current temperature right now, we are sitting in the mid 30s, 36.1 degrees here at the top. We did get down to 34, so not exactly freezing this morning. Winds last night, we got to all the way up to 89 miles per hour right now. Winds are right around 50 to 60 miles per hour with an occasional gust up to 70 miles per hour. But down in the valley, down in lower elevation, it looks like a gorgeous stay. Temperatures, lower 70s, low dew point temperatures, very comfortable to be, comfortable to be outside today. And then tonight, seeing mostly clear, maybe some high clouds building in. We do have a storm system approaching from the west to our north, actually. It's going to be dragging a front across the region later on tonight into tomorrow, bringing the chance for some showers for our day, slight chance of showers into the afternoon for Sunday. Temperatures tonight do get down into the mid 50s. It's going to be some great weather to be outside. Might even need a sweatshirt in a couple areas if you are out and about. And then Sunday night, chance for showers overnight into Monday morning. Some gorgeous weather, but up here in the summit, it's feeling a little bit like uh, late fall to start our Saturday morning out. Yeah, and uh, soon enough, uh, the snow will fly. Yep, exactly. It's basically any week now. That's going to be something, seeing that white crown on top of the summit. Uh, now, of course, uh, kids are back in school, and pretty soon you'll be starting up your virtual classrooms again, I understand. Yep, we are aiming for the first full week of October to start the virtual classrooms back up, and we're definitely looking forward to it. I think our first one is going to be intro to meteorology, so we get to talk about the weather and everything and how this impacts us here at the summit of Mount Washington. And, uh, we're definitely looking forward to getting that back going for all the school, the local school areas around here in the White Mountain region. Nice. And of course, you're a nonprofit. You have members. You appreciate donors. How can people become a member and how can they donate? Hey, you can go right on the website, become a member. They will be able to automatically be set up to become receive windswept every couple of months. We'll you get all sorts of news, find out what's going on with Nimbus, our new cat. He's been up here for a full summer now. He's usually getting ready for his first full, full winter, and just different articles and columns from each of, of the observers up here, what's going on up here. So that's a pretty unique, cool thing, but you can go right on to our website online, mountwashington.org, become a member, or even just donate if you'd like to help the nonprofit continue the mission up here of continuing our research and or our climate data and collection, everything going on up here on top of the rock pile. Well, Steve, thank you very much for your time this morning, and say hi to Nimbus. Definitely will do. You have a great day. All right, Bill, be well. Okay, there you go. Top of Mount Washington, and uh, we'll be uh, checking in uh, tomorrow as well. But now, well, we were just uh, above the clouds. Now I want to talk to you, tell you about uh, Castle in the Clouds. And I'm talking about where you can, uh, oh, just a moment. But before I do that, coming up, White Mountain Community yeah, College and Watch and Win. Okay, now we're with the script. All right, there we go. I jumped the gun there. Don't you hate when that happens? All right, here we go. Energize your day with coffee at the Castle and the Clowns in Moultonboro on Saturday, September 25th. You could enjoy a curated coffee tasting on the terrace of the Carriage House Restaurant with the views of Lake Winnipesaukee and the Bell Knapp Mountains. Bring your favorite mug from home, add a souvenir mug to your ticket, or use the disposable ones provided to test roasting variations, and enjoy a freshly brewed 12-ounce cup of coffee before the property is open to the public. Coffee and treats, along with a discussion about roasting styles and coffee variations, is provided by Wayfarer Coffee Roasters of Laconia and Lakeport, and there is more information at castleinthecloud.org. Also coming up, a dinner and auction fundraiser. The Mount Washington Valley Supports Recovery are hosting a dinner with friends fundraiser at Tin Mountain Conservation Center on Saturday, September 25th. A $50 donation gets you access to the three-course buffet and complimentary raffle tickets to a silent auction between 11 and 2. All proceeds to go to MWV Support Recovery and their mission to spreading awareness of substance addiction and treating those getting to get clean. More information at nwvsupportsrecovery.org. 
All right, here we go again. We've had a couple of qualifiers this morning for the One Drive Yourself Path to the Mount Washington Auto Road, plus four trail passes for mountain biking or cross-country skiing at Great Glen Trails. And just as a reminder, we also have a drawing for a Boggs Boots $100 gift card coming up, and you can go to whitemounds.tv and click on Win Prizes to Enter. Okay, here we go. Matthew's going to put up the uh, question. We're seeing it all for the first time. 356-6619. Let's see what he has for us today. Oh, good. I can pronounce all these words, maybe. According to the State of New Hampshire Wildlife Directory, a slimy sculpin is considered what? A. Amphibian. B. Freshwater fish. C. Mammal. D. Reptile. Or E. Brother-in-law. You really don't like. According to the State of New Hampshire Wildlife Directory, a slimy sculpin is what? Is it an amphibian, freshwater fish, mammal, or reptile? 356-6619. Give us a buzz. Hi, good morning. What's your answer? Hello. Are you streaming? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, what is a slimy sculpin? Amphibian, freshwater fish, mammal, or reptile? A uh, reptile. It is not a reptile, but thank you very much for trying. 356-6619. Is it an amphibian, a fish, or a mammal? 356-6619. Good morning. What's your answer? B. B, a freshwater fish. Are you sure? Because guess what? That's correct. And who are you, please? Carol. Carol, where are you calling us from? Madison. All right, Carol from Colin from Madison, don't go away. I will get some more information from you. And uh, when we come back, we're going to take a look at the weather. Thank you. This cycling guide to the White Mountains is presented by the new Gorm Bike and Ski Shop in North Conway. Mountain bikes, road bikes, e-bikes, accessory service, and knowledge. Everything you need for riding in the White Mountains. Oftentimes what uh, we'll do is kind of qualify them for how long they'll be riding for. Are they looking for elevation change? You know, you could do just a loop around the valley here, taking in both uh, the southern part of West Side Road and the northern part of West Side Road. Everyone's favorite here, though, is the Bear Notch Loop. It's about, depending upon where you start from, 35 to 40 miles. If you go counterclockwise or clockwise, it's really two different rides. It's just a fabulous ride. I would say an average rider can do it. If you go around clockwise, then it's it's a more gradual climb. Counterclockwise, uh, there's just one section uh, that becomes pretty stiff and pretty long. Even going out to like the Willie House is really a, a, a fabulous ride. It's a gradual uphill most of the way out, but coming back, it's wonderful. To me, if, if you're starting out like from Freiburg, it's a gentle climb. There are a couple of steep pitches here and there. And then of course, when you get to Evans Notch, well, that gradual becomes pretty stiff. Um, and then coming back down, uh, when you're coming back, it's a lot easier. If you, you know, do any of the notches, obviously that is going to be a little bit more difficult ride. I think depending upon where they want to ride, we'll, uh, we'll point out, okay, this has a narrow shoulder. Some people may feel a little more comfortable not going on uh, a narrow shouldered road like that. Depending upon what they're looking for, we'll give them a couple of options and let them make the decision. It's a new store every day. We're getting more and more product in. If you don't see what you like 
or what you need, give it a couple of days and come back and you may find out that it has come in. Hopefully, uh, you know, we'll, we'll start getting some of the road bikes in too. That'll make me very happy. But we do have a couple of pedal assisted road bikes that are pretty sweet. Come on in and check those out. Have you accepted chronic pain and loss of mobility as part of aging? What if you could get back the life you love? I'm Dr. Trish Murray, and I'd like to give you the tools to restore and maintain your own physical, mental, and cognitive health. The Discover Health Movement Membership is an online movement program that can be done anywhere on your own schedule. It's unique, fun, non-intimidating, and it gets you back to the life you love. Sign up at discoverhealthfmc.com. Introducing Outside Plus, your home for exploration. From the backyard to the backcountry. Workouts, meal plans, curated content. All from the brands you know and trust. Join today. Welcome to Barley and Salt Tap House and Kitchen, a contemporary eatery with 30 ever-changing craft beers, full bar, and a street food venue with international variety. Looking for the latest craft brew? This is the place. Seasonal shared plates, craft cocktails, killer playlists, right here. Our high-energy industrial atmosphere accommodates large parties indoors and out. Barley and Salt delivers the perfect pour in an atmosphere unique to Mount Washington Valley. Barley and Salt. Savor the hops. Relish the flavor. Age before beauty? Why not both? Visibly diminished wrinkled skin in just two days. Crepe Corrector Lotion, only from Gold Bond. Champion your skin. Get your tickets now for the Sunset Concert Series presented by Moat Mountain Brewing Company Friday night, 7.30 at the Theater in the Wood in Intervale. Friday, September 17th, do not miss Kenny Chesney Tribute No Shoes Nation Band. Check out the full schedule of acts from all music genres at believeinbooks.org. I wasn't born in the spotlight. No. Had a grind to shine like a star on a hot night. Real rock stars don't chase the spotlight, it chases them. Find adventure at every turn when you take a scenic drive or guided tour on the legendary Mount Washington Auto Road. Due to its remarkable location, weather, and history, the Mount Washington Auto Road is unlike any other driving experience in the eastern United States. As you climb to the highest peak in the Northeast, you'll pass through four distinct climate zones and have the opportunity to stop along the way to explore trails and discover scenic vistas. The summit of Mount Washington looms at 6,288 feet and is world famous for its ever-changing weather extremes and stunning panoramic views that can stretch all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. While you're on top, visit the historic summit buildings and learn more about the mountain at the Mount Washington Observatory's Interactive Extreme Mount Washington Museum. The Mount Washington Auto Road. Elevate your adventure. North Conway Midas saves vacations and gets locals back on the road. Trust Midas for all your auto care needs, including brakes, oil changes, tires, and now alignments. Buying a used car? Before you spend the money, bring it to Midas for a free inspection. Local owners Ron and Kelly Monroe believe in quality work, treating customers with honesty, and giving back to the community. Trust North Conway Midas, White Mountain Highway across from the Red Jacket Hotel. It's now 10 minutes in front of 9, Saturday morning, and as we speak, uh, going on the uh, right here in North Conway Sugar Park, just took a look outside, and the uh, ceremonies are going uh, ongoing right now. Go to around 10 o'clock, uh, sort of uh, commemorating the uh, 20th uh, anniversary of the uh, terror attacks uh, today in New York and Washington, Pennsylvania. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the weather. It is now uh, 60 degrees here in North Conway. And basically, uh, the nice weather continues this weekend as high pressure slides across the area. Expect plenty of sun and seasonable temperatures, even warming up to near 80 on Sunday. 
Low pressure in Canada will drag a cold front through northern New England on Sunday. Another weak wave will track along the front Sunday night, bringing a chance of rain and thunderstorms to southern areas. Cool high pressure builds in behind the front for Monday and Tuesday with dry weather and pleasant temperatures. And the next uh, frontal system uh, arrives midweek with another chance of rain. All right, now let's uh, take a look. Today we're looking at uh, highs in the uh, low 70s under uh, mostly sunny skies. Tonight it's going to drop down, oh, I don't know, to around maybe 55 degrees with some calm wind. Tomorrow we're looking at a slight chance of showers in the uh, late morning and early afternoon, but generally mostly sunny with a high near 78. Then uh, Sunday night looks like it's going to get down to around 55 again with a 30% chance of precipitation. Monday, mostly sunny, high near 72. Same thing on Tuesday. Then Tuesday night into Wednesday, another front's moving in. We have a 50-50 shot of showers. And on Wednesday, we're looking at a high of around 77 degrees. Now let's head on up to the summit of Mount Washington, uh, where the observatory gave us this forecast for today. We're uh, they're looking at a high of around 43 degrees, mostly in the clouds, under mostly cloudy skies with a chance of rain showers. Mainly early uh, wind out of the northwest, 25 to 40 miles per hour, but increasing uh, with some gusts of maybe up to 70 miles per hour. Right now it is 36 degrees on top of Mount Washington. The wind speed is 50 miles per hour, wind chill is 21 and uh, the strongest gust in the past uh, 10 minutes was 58 degrees. Well, tomorrow morning here on White Mountains today, an exciting show planned for you. Find out about the Mount Washington Valley Skate Club. Also, Jen's Friends Cancer Foundation. That event's coming up on September 18th, and watch and win will be one dozen Titleist Pro V1 golf balls, the number one ball in golf, logoed with your favorite TV network, and that would be Outside TV. Well, yes, foliage is uh, soon upon us. We're seeing the uh, bright flashes of red at a lot of the, uh, the birches. So I just want to remind you that Alpine Adventures in Lincoln, they're offering foliage tours through the fall. You can tour the stunning fall foliage of the Mount Washington Valley with their zip line tours. Side by side, Barren Mountain Tours are on their six wheel off road vehicles. Uh, you can book online at alpinezipline.com. Availability is going fast. Yeah. Well, this morning uh, for Watch and Win, we've been uh, taking qualifiers for uh, one drive yourself pass to the Mount Washington Auto Road, plus four trail passes for mountain biking or cross country skiing at Great Glen Trails. And also, just a reminder uh, that we also have a drawing going on for Boggs Boots. It's a $100 gift card. And to get uh, involved in that, just uh, go over to White Mountains, oh, excuse me, whitemountains.tv and click on Win Prizes to Enter. All right, here we go. Three, five, six. Six, six, one, nine. Let's see what we have here. And yes, let's see which of these film titles below is a real New England set film. Is it Moonrise Kingdom, The Groomer, <clears throat> Soft Shoulder, or Tales from the Trap? Three, five, six, 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 one, nine. Which of these film titles below is a real New England set film? Hang on just a second. All right, A, B, C, D, what do you think? Three, five, six, 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 one, nine. Good morning, what's your answer? Good morning. All right, three, five, six, 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 one, nine. Give us a buzz. Perhaps you know the answer to the question. Set in New England, is it Moonrise Kingdom, The Groomer, Soft Shoulder, or Tales from the Trap? Three, five, six, 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 one, nine. Give us a call. Good morning, what's your answer, please? Is it the groomer? It is not the groomer, but thanks very much for trying. <clears throat> Three five six 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 one nine. What do you think? Three five six 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 one nine. Give us a call, and you could be in the running. Great Glen Trails and Mount Washington Auto Road. Good morning. What's your answer, please? Is it tales from the trap? Is it tales from the trap? No, it is not. But thanks very much for trying. Three five six 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 one nine. 50-50 shot if you've been paying attention. <clears throat> Good morning. What's your answer, please? Okay. Are you streaming? Yes, I am. Okay. What is your answer? What's uh, what's your answer, please? 
is Moonrise Kingdom. Yes, it is Moonrise Kingdom. And who are you, please? John. And where are you calling us from? Actually, from Peabody, Miss. All right. Well, all right. You must be streaming. That's right. Okay. Well, congratulations. You're in the running, and uh, we'll be uh, pulling the prize winner at 930. Don't go away. I have to get some more information from you. And when we come back, we're going to find out about what's going on at White Mountains Community College. Okay. The brand new Gorham Bike and Ski in North Conway is here to help you have fun in the outdoors. They carry a range of bikes from road bikes to full suspension mountain bikes. Store staff has local info and trail recommendations. And service technicians are ready to help with expert repairs and tune-ups. Clothing and accessories for your adventures? Gorham Bike and Ski has you covered. Winter lovers, check out their great selection of alpine skis, Nordic skis, snowboards, and split boards. Gorham Bike and Ski, 1881 White Mountain Highway, North Conway. My community inspired me to become a leader. Showed me a path to my future. And completely changed my life. My community. My community is White Mountains Community College. Enroll now for upcoming classes. Learn more at wmcc.edu.
You never call. Baby? Daydreaming again? But I love you still. You know I'm driving, right? I do. If you ride, you get it. Geico Motorcycle. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. For over three decades, Joseph's Spaghetti Shed has been serving delicious Italian meals with their famous homemade sauces, meatballs, and fresh breads. Enjoy all your Italian favorites, plus delicious salads and Joseph's incredible 10-inch pizzas. Some say the best in the valley. Joseph's is casual, affordable, and perfect for tired families after a day of white mountain fun. Call ahead for takeout or grab a frozen meal for later. Joseph's Spaghetti Shed, Route 302 in Glen. On today's program, we are playing Watch and Win. It's fun, it's interactive, it's all of those things, and you, that's right, you can win great prizes, but there are rules we have to follow. One win per household per 30 days, please. No hogging prizes. When we qualify people for prize drawings, you can qualify once per drawing per household unless otherwise specified. You cannot win more than one prize from the same prize sponsor in a year. For example, if you win a gift certificate to a restaurant, Restaurant, you can't win another one from that same restaurant for the next 12 months. You gotta learn to spread the love, man. To win, your answer must match our answer. We try our best, though sometimes we make mistakes. The show director or the supreme chancellor, as I like to call them, is the judge and their rule is final. Prizes are non-exchangeable or redeemable for cash and White Mountains TV is not liable for unredeemable prizes. That is all of them. Now get ready to play because our next Watch and Win contest showdown whatever is right around the corner and you're not going to want to miss it stay tuned right here on white mountains today Weather Vane Theater brings Broadway to the North Country, performing award-winning musicals and plays in an alternating repertory schedule. Staged in a charming and historic venue, the Weather Vane's fall season runs now through October 10, featuring Pippin, always Patsy Cline. She Loves Me, and The Mountaintop. See a different show almost every night. Enjoy Broadway in the North Country. For ticket information, go online to weathervanenh.org. When your passion has a path, you just have to follow it. See where one of our 50 academic programs can take you at White Mountains Community College. Enroll now at wmcc.edu. At the base of Mount Washington, you'll discover the magnificent setting of Great Glen Trails Outdoor Center. Bring your own bike or rent one. Walk or hike on our scenic trail system with amazing views of the Presidential Mountain Range. Enjoy a guided kayak trip along the scenic lakes and rivers of northern New Hampshire with opportunities for wildlife viewing. Relax with breakfast or lunch at the Glenview Cafe and shop for the latest tax-free clothing, outdoor gear, and gifts at Great Glen Outfitters. Visit Great Glen Trails, Pinkham Notch, New Hampshire. Exploring restaurants is one of our top activities in the White Mountains. There are so many great ones to try. These restaurants are some of our favorites. Enjoy majestic views from the dining room, screen porch, or cozy pub of Max's Pub at Snow Village Inn. Feast on Maine Coast oysters, fresh catch, juicy steaks, and craft cocktails served by attentive staff. Max's Pub, Snow Village Inn, Eaton. The Woodstock Inn Brewery is a White Mountain legend. Located in North Woodstock near the crystal clear headwaters of the Pemigewasset River, they're one of New Hampshire's original three craft breweries. Enjoy fresh beer and delicious food on their garden patio or enjoy nightcap to live music. Barley and Salt in North Conway has 30 rotating craft beers on tap with a large selection of local brews. Enjoy beverages indoors or out in a fun setting paired with international street food Perfect for sharing with friends. For info on these restaurants and even more restaurant ideas, go to our website, whitemountains.tv, and click on Restaurants. And we are back. Uh, recently, uh, Outside TV's Chris Pru uh, did a Zoom session uh, with White Mountains Community College uh, President Chuck Lloyd. Let's give a look and uh, see what they talked about. 
Hey everybody, it's Chris Prue. You're watching White Mountains TV, and I am joined remotely by Charles Lloyd. He is the president of White Mountains Community College, and he joins us via Zoom right now. How are you doing today, Charles? Chris, great to be here. Thanks for having me. The life we want, the careers we want, often start with a good education, and White Mountains Community College is really making it easy with all of the options that you guys have online and in person. Tell us a little bit about the options that White Mountains Community College has right now. Well, I love the term options. You keep throwing out options. We have a ton of options. We have over 48 uh, certificate programs, degree programs, and uh, I can go on for days, but to start high level, we have technical programs. So if you enjoy working with your hands, we have welding, we have diesel heavy equipment technology, automotive, we have healthcare programs. We have our nursing, LPN program, LNA, uh, but also we have a lot of general education, meaning it's business, criminal justice, human services, education. So no matter what you're interested in, we have a pathway for you. So a lot of options, just as you're saying. Uh, you know, and I know we were uh, we were just talking, just before you jumped on here, you know, we were, we were just talking about, uh, you know, online and hybrid. You know, when you talk about options, there are different ways you can take your courses as well. Uh, so we can shift back and forth, whether it's 100% online or, uh, or hybrid, so a mixture of both. Yeah, I mean, one of the, um, the objections or the barriers to getting an education sometimes is, uh, the difficulty in scheduling. People have busy lives. They're working at the same time, or uh, obviously, you know, cost is is often an issue. But between online and in person, and the the number of online facilities you have around the White Mountains, you really seem to uh, to be reducing those those barriers. Yeah, we're trying. I mean, everything is about access, right? So uh, we have a center in North Conway, right in the village. We, we're in Littleton, right just north of Main Street. We're in Berlin, just uh, right on 16 here. And for us, those are the physical locations, but you're right. People have barriers. They're working. They have, you know, child care concerns, those types of things. So if it's, you know, taking a class online or if you want to do hybrid, which means maybe you're coming to campus once in a while for that person-to-person -person contact, but also can do some remotely, uh, we've had to adjust just higher ed has had to adapt to provide training for folks you know where they are so that's uh, that's what we have done and continue to try to do right it seems that everybody has a little bit different story a little bit different need and there's no one path to the education and the career that you want um, and it seems like you guys offer a, a variety of ways whether it is uh, you know a straight degree or maybe you just you know need to get some credits um, you know towards a, a, another goal Right. Everyone has a different pathway. Some, as you said, some come here for the associate degree and then they get right out of the workforce, some for the certificate, but others come here with the intent to transfer on, whether it's Plymouth State, Southern New Hampshire University, you name it. Uh, we're here to support a customized pathway. We're also seeing a lot more of what I would call upskilling right now. So folks that have been out into the workforce and now are maybe changing their career path. Well, geez, you know, I went, might've been in hospitality and tourism, but I want to go back and maybe I want to go into IT. So they're coming and taking a few Cisco courses with us. So uh, we're seeing a lot of the upskilling and, and career path changes. I, I don't know if it's because of the pandemic or folks just wanted to, to make the change, but uh, that's what we're here for as well. All right. Uh, we talked about uh, taking down the barriers to an education. You guys keep doing that. You have a new program this year called Meals Included. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's just what it says. You know, it, when when students come here, we have we have a lot of barriers, right? I mentioned childcare being one of them, transportation, housing, and food insecurity. So we're trying to tick one off right away. Food insecurity. So when folks come, our, we don't want our students to have to worry about where the next meal is coming from. You know, full stomach, full brain, and active. So uh, we provide breakfast, we provide lunch, and some dinners for our students when they come here, free of charge because we believe that students should not have to be thinking in the morning, where's my next meal coming from? Instead, we want them focusing on, did I do my homework? Am I prepared for class? Can I study? So we're trying to remove that barrier right away. And we're, we're one of the first uh, colleges in the nation to do so. And there's a huge need for affordable higher education, a lot of demand. And you guys are responding that, to that demand with, uh, with new construction. I believe you're building a, a, a new project in Littleton. You're right. I mean, you, you do your homework, my goodness. But, uh, you know, first of all, I mean, you talk about access and uh, diesel heavy equipment has been one of our most popular programs. We need technicians out in the on and off road uh, universe. And one of the things uh, we've studied over the last few years is our students are all coming from within that 93 corridor up and down the highway and also southern New Hampshire. Uh, so and it is it's the only accredited program in New England. So we tried to uh, make that as centrally located as possible. So we just got some state funding. 
uh, through some great advocacy of the New Hampshire Automobile Dealers Association, Senator Hennessy and others, uh, we're going to do construction, 10,000 square feet in Littleton. We're going to build an advanced technology building. Also have welding in there to expand that program as well uh, and some IT pieces. So trying to expand our reach to get ready as you were talking about options and access. Options and opportunity. We are talking with Charles Lloyd, president of White Mountains Community College. If someone is listening to this and says, you know what? I'm going to take that next step to further my career, get the, uh, the the career and the life that I've always dreamed of. What would you recommend as far as the first step? How do they get involved with White Mountains Community College? Yeah, start with us right online. You can apply online for free, a free application, uh, and also apply for financial aid. You know, the, the FAFSA is it's free to complete. That's the name of it, free application for student financial aid. And you'd be surprised how much money is out there. Uh, I just talked to our students at orientation a week ago, and I said, you know, there is no better time to come to college than right now because there is federal funds, there are scholarship monies. Also, a shout out to the Charitable Foundation, New Hampshire Charitable Foundation, sponsored one free course through the community college system for all 2021 high school graduates this year. So they've helped with that. They also helped with the Meals Include Ed program. So everyone is out there to support our students going to college. Really, it's, uh, it's the best time to go to college. All right. That sounds great. Thank you so much, Charles. Anything else before we say goodbye? No, don't be afraid to walk in our doors. We're, uh, we're open for potential students right now. I know people always question, you know, are you open or not? We are. You know, walk into any of our locations. Our, our team is ready to, uh, to support you, and uh, we've got a, a path for you and customize it to get you, uh, get you moving forward. All right. Convenient locations, online options, and uh, so many more benefits. They're coming up with new ways to take down these barriers so that you can become, uh, have the career that you've always dreamed of. Charles Lloyd, President, White Mountains Community College. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for the time. Appreciate it, Chris. All right. You're watching White Mountains TV. Over 75 years ago, the Saunders family started White Mountain Oil and Propane to serve this community. White Mountain Oil and Propane was there to deliver range oil, install modern oil heating systems, and introduce new leading-edge appliances. Today, White Mountain Oil and Propane is still run by the Saunders family, and it's the area's premier energy retailer, delivering premium fuel products across northern New Hampshire and western Maine. Three generations, that's dependability. That's White Mountain Oil and Propane, always there for you. Mount Washington, you'll discover the magnificent setting of Great Glen Trails Outdoor Center. Bring your own bike or rent one. Walk or hike on our scenic trail system with amazing views of the Presidential Mountain Range. Enjoy a guided kayak trip along the scenic lakes and rivers of northern New Hampshire with opportunities for wildlife viewing. Relax with breakfast or lunch at the Glenview Cafe and shop for the latest tax-free clothing, outdoor gear, and gifts at Great Glen Outfitters. Visit Great Glen Trails, Pinkham Notch, New Hampshire. No matter where you are in the Mount Washington Valley, Lakes Region, or White Mountains, Hospitality Maps are there to guide you. Hospitality Maps are convenient, free, and full of the area's best tourist destinations. There's one for food, another for shopping, even maps for adventure, golf, and North Conway Village. Inside, find dozens of coupons for great savings and, of course, easy-to-follow maps to help you find your way around. Can't wait? Get everything online at HospitalityMaps.com. NorthConwayMaps.com or NorthConwayCoupons.com. Icy hot. Ice works fast. Heat makes it last. Feel the power of contrast therapy. So you can rise from pain. Icy hot. Enjoy majestic views from the dining room, screen porch, or cozy pub of Max's Pub at Snow Village Inn. Feast on Maine Coast oysters, fresh catch, juicy steaks, and craft cocktails served by attentive staff. Max's Pub, Snow Village Inn, Eaton. Lost River Gorge in Boulder Caves is one of New Hampshire's greatest natural wonders and an unforgettable adventure.
Discover your adventure at LostRiverGorge.com. Enjoy sparkling, clean, spacious suites with kitchens at award-winning Adatash Mountain Village in New Hampshire's White Mountains. Perfect for families and couples, the resort features on-site amenities like a private beach on the river, clay tennis courts with private lessons, fire pits, hot tubs, indoor and outdoor swimming pools, walking trails, and horse and wagon rides. Book your getaway. Go to amv.vacations. We are back, and uh, pretty soon the leaf peepers will be back too. And there are all sorts of ways to see the leaves. So, uh, how about leaf peeping on two wheels? Uh, Cranmore Mountain Resorts introducing the fall three pack for their downhill mountain bike park. You can now purchase three full day lift tickets, normally a $126 value, for just $89. And please note, these tickets are valid for the remainder of the season and rental bikes or gear that's sold separately. For more information, and even to book, you can head to Cranmore.com. Yeah. Well, here we go. Let's take our final qualifier for Watch and Win, and we are playing for one Drive Yourself Pass to the Mount Washington Auto Road, plus four trail passes for mountain biking or cross-country skiing at Great Glen Trails, and a reminder, we also have a drawing going on for a Boggs Boots $100 gift card. And you can go to whitemountains.tv and click on Win Prizes to enter. Aren't those sharp looking footwear? 356-6619. Matthew's going to put up You've got lots of questions, but more importantly, he's always going to an answer. Pop quiz. <clears throat> We're thinking of a baseball team, but can't place what city or state they're from. Where do the Giants play? Where do the baseball Giants play? 356-6619. What city? 356-6619. Good morning. What's your answer? Hey, I'm streaming. Okay. Okay, not a problem. We're thinking of a baseball team, but can't place what city or state they're from, where do the Giants play? Where are the Giants, the baseball Giants, where are they playing? Where New York. They? Nope, that's the New York football Giants, but thanks very much. All right, 356-6619, baseball Giants. Whoa, wrong one, 356 six, six, Where are the baseball Giants from? Good morning, what's your answer, please? Okay. Is it Washington? It is not Washington, but thank you very much for trying. 356-6619. If you're going to go there, it's uh, quite a journey. 356 to my city by the... Ooh, oh. Anyway, 356 Wear flowers six, in six, your hair. I'm sorry, what's that? No, I was just saying wear flowers in your hair, man. Okay, absolutely. Hey, Ashbury. 356-6619. What city is that? 356-6619. Good morning. What's your answer? Hi, is it San Francisco? It is San Francisco. And who are you, please? Mike Cohen from Meredith, New Hampshire. All right, Mike from Meredith. Hang on. I'll get some more information from you. You are now in the running for that uh, pass to the Mount Washington Auto Road and four passes to Great Glen Trails. Don't go away. We come back. We're going to draw a winner and take a look outside at the weather.
Most residents of New Hampshire can tell you exactly where they were when they heard the news that the old man of the mountain had fallen. Carved by glaciers 10,000 years ago, first sighted by surveyors in 1805, adopted as a state symbol and seen by over 2 million visitors a year in its 20th century heyday, the old man succumbed to weather and time on May 3, 2003. Today, the view of the old man has been restored in sorts. Thanks to the recently completed Old Man of the Mountain Historic Site, new generations of visitors can see what the rock formation used to look like and learn about its importance to the state. The Old Man of the Mountain Legacy Fund is a 501c3, uh, and we have an agreement with the state parks that allows us, uh, over a period of years, to come down to the site of the old man, where the Old Man viewing area was and create a memorial and a museum back up at the, at the parking lot to interpret what the old man was and to show people where he was. And we funded the whole process, was funded by private donations, by selling uh, benches that you see around the place here and granite stones on the, on the plaza. There are over a thousand of, of people and companies and individuals and families that in memorial in many cases or just making a statement in many cases. Today, the attraction consists of a museum and gift shop and a short paved walkway with interpretive panels on the history and ecology of Franconia Notch. But the highlight is a sighting of the old man himself. People come down to experience the site because it is a beautiful natural site. Uh, and they come here to reflect. Uh, it's a peaceful spot. Then they come to look and see where the old man was through the profilers. There are seven of them that are aimed at the cliff for different sized people, different heights of people, and so a whole family can look at it at once. And, uh, and they get that image of the old man's face and they can move it around and place it right on back on the cliff where it used to be. And we came up, we had a nationwide contest to uh, f find a sculpture to come up with a, the appropriate memorial. And we had 62 entries from around the U.S. and Canada. We ended up with one, uh, uh, a couple, from Essex, Massachusetts. It was uh, in good taste, and not flashy, uh, and I think appropriate uh, for people who will remember the old man. For more information on this and other cool places in the White Mountains, visit whitemountains.tv. Ready for fun? Watch Explore the White Mountains, where we count down the best in adventure, dining, shopping, lodging, and mountain living. Plan your day with local weather, outdoor conditions, expert tips, resort news, events, and inside looks at the best experiences. Explore the White Mountains, airing daily here on White Mountains TV and online at whitemountains.tv. The way it was is the way it is at Zeb's General Store, the ultimate New England experience. Feel what it was like to be a kid back when candy counters stretched 70 feet long and were filled with chocolate and fudge, penny candy by the pound, and old-time favorites you haven't seen in years. Explore two floors of delicious and unique specialty foods, toys, clothing, bath and body, and more. Unique, quality products from cottage-based companies right here in New England. Zeb's General Store is in the center of the community in more ways than one, reinvesting in village beautification and supporting community nonprofits. When you shop at Zeb's, you are a direct link in the vitality of the northern New Hampshire economy and the sustainability of locally grown businesses. Visit the best of today and yesteryear at Zeb's General Store, Main Street, North Conway Village, online at zebs.com. This is original, a Valley original. This is family dining, fine dining, international seafood steak. This is independently owned, right here and only right here. It's live music, a margarita, a martini, a local brew. It's fresh from the sea and farm to table. This is a Valley original restaurant. Look for this flag over 20 of the Mount Washington Valley's best independently owned restaurants or browse restaurants right now at thevalleyoriginals.com. 
Plan a getaway to the heart of North Conway Village at the Eastern Slope Inn Resort. This historic inn offers sparkling, clean, spacious suites with full kitchens and modern amenities, including clay tennis courts with private lessons, fire pits, indoor swimming pool, and hot tub. Walk to village shops, restaurants, and outdoor activities. Book your North Conway escape. Go to esi.vacations. Good morning. Wrapping up uh, White Mountains today, almost 9.30. Right now, 63 degrees in North Conway. Let's take a quick look at the five-day forecast. Today, uh, looking high of around 72. Sunshine and tomorrow, sunshine as well. High near 78. Monday and Tuesday look like carbon copies. Sunshine and high of 72. Then a front comes in for Wednesday. A 50-50 shot of rain and a high of 77. All right, time now to do our prize drawing. We've been playing for that uh, Find uh, drive yourself pass to the Mount Washington Auto Road. Also four trail passes for mountain biking or cross country skiing at Great Glen Trails. I now uh, reach into my little prize lid uh, for some golf balls. We're gonna be giving away tomorrow title of stuff. And the winner is Kurt Holmes of Intervale. So congratulations to you. I'll have to give him a call and let him know. Uh, tomorrow, going to do it all again. And uh, let's see, uh, on tomorrow, uh, Mount Washington Valley Skate Club, finding out what's going on with them, uh, Jen's Friend Cancer Foundation, and also some more Watch and Win playing for one dozen Titleist Pro V1 Golf Balls, the number one ball in golf, and it's got a logo of your favorite TV network on it. That's Outside TV. Well, that's it for this edition of White Mounds Today. Thanks for watching. Outside television programming is next. Enjoy your day in the White Mountains until we meet again.